Let's have a look at the pencil sketch effect in Affinity Photo on the iPad. Now this is a really cool effect. Now the first step, we're getting straight into this, is to add your background image. So import your image and duplicate it. Select it and unselect the original. You can see in the layer stack on the right hand side, I've got a duplicate with the original unselected. Now we add a black and white adjustment layer. And this is the first step really in the process. So select the Adjustment Studio and select black and white. The adjustment layer adds onto the stack. We need to clip it to the image layer in the next step. You can see it's sitting above the image layer there. So what we do with that is drag the adjustment layer down so the blue line is appearing halfway into the image layer, which is a good place to put it, and release it. That way you can be sure it will drop underneath the image layer and slightly to the right, not just become a lower down layer where it won't work. It will look like this. Select the clipped adjustment layer, then open the drop down menu, you can see up there, and select merge visible. It will take a moment to work, so don't panic if it doesn't immediately appear. And it will look like this. It creates another layer which is just above where you've been working. Next, we're going to invert the layer. So select that merge layer that you just did from the layer list and from the adjustment layer, select invert. Nowhere else, because invert does appear in other places, select it there from the adjustment layer. Now you've selected invert and it will look like this. Like, a, like an old photo negative if you're ever familiar with one of those. Next, on the inverted layer, drag the inverted mask down so it's grouped with its image. And that way you can see it's grouped. And if you touch on the little triangle there, it will close it up and it'll look like the one below it. It'll be grouped. Now we need to set the blend mode to dodge. So in layer options, locate color dodge and select it. There's your color dodge and it will turn the pane to white so your canvas will appear like that and you may be able to see your image appearing very faintly in the white background. And you can see on the right hand side there under layer options color dodge is selected. Collapse the layers and make sure you have the top one selected. You can see on the right hand side there how that's done. Now, select add live filters from the filter list. That's that funnel shape thing. So you select live filters and then from that list select Gaussian blur from the list. Gaussian blur appears in another place too, but you don't want to use that. You want to use this one from the live filters list. So now from the context menu, change the radius to about 20 pixels to begin with. And you can see your fox now appears on the white background. And in this second one, I've changed the radius to 40 pixels. Gives it a sharper look, slightly darker, slightly sharper. It depends on you and it depends on your image. Your layer panel now looks like this. Now, let's take all this to the next level. We're going to add some color to our sketch. Go back to your original image in the layer panel and duplicate it again. The original image with the lock on it. Create a duplicate and with that duplicate, drag it to the top of the layer stack and it will override everything. And you'll think, oh no, we're back to square one. Don't panic. Set the blend mode to colour and the image will wash out and the pencil strokes will appear to be coloured. How magic is that? You can manipulate this with the opacity option for a stronger or lighter option. I've set it to about 75% there. And you can set it to 50 to lighten it, but probably 75% is best. Now, the next thing we're going to change 
we're going to turn the pencil strokes blue, not coloured. So pull out a rectangle over the top of all of the layers and colour it a biro blue colour. Now you can see I've got that last fox we just did is still selected and the blue rectangle is still selected. Set the blend mode of the blue rectangle to colour and the pencil lines of the fox will become blue. Magic. Click off both of the two colour layers. You can see they're both unselected there and we're back to the black and white fox. Here we go again, drag out another rectangle and it will be blue because that was the last colour I used. We're going to um, change this to a, quite, a different, uh, quite a different view. Use the gradient fill tool to stage out a line across the rectangle and set three or four points and add various colours. So you touch on each point and change the colour and you get a colour gradient like just like you see there. Now then, go to the layers option, set the blend mode again to colour and there's your gradient coloured fox. Very nice. Our next step is to make the outline more pencil black. Select the levels adjustment option. Bring up the black levels to say 50%. Now what I didn't mention was that you've turned off the colour layers by now. Untick the boxes so that you're left with the black and white fox. But bring up the black levels to say 50% and then your fox looks much blacker. And lastly, add a nice textured paper background. Now I've got some antique paper there. Simply add your texture and drag it to the top of the layer stack. And you'll think, oh no, it's wiped out my fox. And you can see the three colour layers below the paper stack are unticked. We're only working with the original black and white fox. That's the only one I want on the paper. And you can put whichever one you like in the paper by ticking or unticking your colour layers. A nice textured paper background. Set the mode to multiply and you, your fox will magically appear on the paper texture background. The fox, by the way, comes from Unsplash. You can find him there in all his glory. And Unsplash, of course, as you know, is available directly from the menu. And there's your finished pencil sketch. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it when you do.